Hello YouTube friends. It has been a long summer. We have been obviously working on the cabin without videoing it some and we need to show our progress on that and then we will try and video the rest of it as we go here so you can get a look to see what we're doing. So let's get started. To take these boards off. Okay the first step in putting on the new roof is to take these boards off. So let's get to it. Okay, now that the boards are off the roof, I'm going to go ahead and climb up there and cover the holes that the leg bolts made. Um, I'm going to use the tape that we used when we put up the pink foam. We want to make sure we have any cracks or holes covered before we put the roof on. That way we know that we won't have any leaks going forward. Okay, so I'm up here at the top of the cabin. I will go ahead and show you um, one of the holes that I'll be covering up here. Okay, so there's a hole right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just clean off the area around it and that way the tape will stick a little bit better. Okay, so it's really not that hard. You just got to climb up here and find the holes, get it cleaned off and cover them. So I'm going to get that done and then we'll get to move on. Yeah! I'm going where this is. Mm -hmm. Careful so you don't get the jacket. You're going to let him see what? See if... No, Caleb. I'll do it in my next batch. I'll do it in my next batch. Just try to help. Help you scrape it out of there. Okay, put your tool up. Yay, is, it hard, is, it hard to push? is it hard to push it? All right, so what's up next for what we're working on is we need to go ahead and put the next piece of cattle panel up to the right here of what's there already. We need to get some chicken wire on top of it and get it cut to size. And then we will go ahead and strap it up there and then we'll mix some cement and we'll show you how we install the cement.
Wait, I'm over there. So make yourself imaginary water. Come on over. Okay, so while working on the roof, Steve found a hole in the roof, in the pink board. Um, before we continue, he's going to tape that up, and then we can keep going. Okay, I'm back up, got the chicken wire. I will attempt to install it. Okay. I think that'll do it for the chicken wire up over the top of this section. Uh, when we add the uh, next panel over there, we'll do the next set of chicken wire there. And um, let's go ahead and show you how we mix up some cement.
Great job, babe.
Yeah, I don't think you'll need to make any more. Bucky coming down. All right, so as you can see, we didn't get the roof finished none too soon. Um, it snowed a little bit last night. It's been about three days since we finished laying this cement, and um, we had just enough time to let it cure enough before it froze, so it's, it's okay. The, the The plan here is to leave the porch until next spring. The, the tin on top of that is gonna do okay for the winter, and um, we kind of ran out of time, but we do wanna do the, the porch the same way as we did the rest of the roof. Just wanna explain a little bit what this is. This is um, probably, uh, it's a lot like stuccoing, like if you would stucco a wall, except it's probably more closely to what they would call ferro cement. Um, maybe a, a traditional ferro cement structure would have more metal in it than I put into it. I think typically for ferro cements, you want to have metal, um, you want to have any cements no more than a quarter inch away from metal. And we don't quite have that here. We're probably about three quarters inch with the chicken wire. So this is um, about, it's over half inch thick of cement. Our cabin was waterproof on the roof or watertight with the pink board and the tape before we put the cement on. So we weren't trying to necessarily waterproof it, though this will be another layer of water um, evasion. Um, what this is really doing is it is protecting the pink board from the erosion of, from the sun, the, the UV rays. It was clearly um, degrading from the year since we, over the years since we put it up. And... What we wanted to do is just get it protected so that if maybe a hailstorm came or branches fell on it from a windstorm, that it wouldn't get beat up and that the sun couldn't get to it. So we have achieved that. Um, next spring, what we will do is we will check for cracks and we will repair the cracks if there are some. And then we're going to put like a, 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 a skim coat of Portland cement on top of this so it all looks really nice. And maybe we'll do something interesting like grow ivy on it. But for now, that's, that's that. that.